NVIDIA just released an open source AI model that runs locally on a single 24 gigabyte GPU, supports up to 1 million tokens of context, delivers two to three times higher inference throughput than GPT OSS 20B and Quen 330B, and ships with open weights, open training recipes, and openly released datasets. And NVIDIA also confirmed this is only the smallest model in the lineup. Two much larger models, one around 120 billion parameters, and another approaching 490 billion are scheduled to follow. If those larger models ship, with the same level of openness, this will be the first time in history that near-frontier artificial intelligence exists in a genuinely open form. That alone should reset expectations for where AI is heading. This wasn't a leak, it wasn't a preview, it wasn't a cloud-locked demo. NVIDIA has already released Nemetron 3 Nano, the first model in its new Nemetron 3 family, and the timing is not accidental. Meta is reportedly moving toward closed, proprietary frontier models. Chinese open source models are increasingly restricted or banned across US government systems due to security concerns. Openness at the high end of AI is shrinking. NVIDIA just went in the opposite direction. That's why Nemetron 3 is not just another model release. It's a strategic move. NVIDIA designed Nemetron 3 specifically for this moment. The company is positioning itself not only as the dominant AI hardware provider, but as the leading US supplier of transparent, auditable AI infrastructure. While others lock their most capable systems behind APIs or keep training data hidden, NVIDIA is treating AI like a software library, something you can inspect, modify and deploy wherever you need it. The first release in this family, Nemetron 3 Nano, reflects that philosophy clearly. On paper, it's a 30 billion parameter model. In practice, it behaves nothing like a traditional dense 30B system. It's optimized for high throughput reasoning, long context workloads, and agentic systems that must operate continuously rather than respond once and stop. It runs locally on a single 24G by GPU, supports up to 1 million tokens of context, and achieves dramatic speed-ups over other open models in its class. In generation-heavy workloads, NVIDIA reports up to 3.3 times higher inference throughput than Quen 3 Wyatt 30 b A3B thinking, and roughly 2.2 times higher throughput than GPT OSS 20B. These gains are not theoretical. They show up in real decoding pipelines where memory movement, kernel launches and synchronization overhead dominate runtime. To understand why Nemetron behaves this way, you have to look past the headline parameter count and focus on how computation is organized internally. Nemetron 3 Nano has 31.6 billion total parameters, but it does not activate all of them during inference. Only about 3.2 billion parameters participate in each forward pass, about 3.6 billion when embeddings are included. This is achieved through a mixture of experts architecture, where each token is routed through a small subset of specialized expert networks instead of flowing through the entire model. In practice, Nematron uses 128 experts and activates only six per token. That alone drastically reduces compute cost. But NVIDIA goes further than sparsity alone. The routing system is designed to align with GPU execution behavior. Instead of relying on auxiliary balancing losses that can destabilize training and cause runtime inefficiencies, NVIDIA uses a routing mechanism that naturally maintains stable expert utilization. The result is predictable execution, fewer synchronization stalls, and higher effective GPU occupancy during inference. But the real architectural shift comes from what Nemetron removes. Most large language models are dominated by transformer attention layers. Attention is powerful, but it scales poorly as context length increases. Memory usage grows rapidly, computation fragments, and throughput collapses when sequences become long. Nemetron replaces most of these attention layers with Mamba 2 state space layers, retaining only a small number of grouped query attention layers where precise token-to-token -token interactions are essential. Mamba layers process sequences using structured state transitions that scale 
linearly with sequence length. They avoid the all-to-all -all communication patterns that make attention expensive at long context. This dramatically reduces memory bandwidth pressure and makes performance far more predictable as context grows. That's the core reason Nemetron can support a 1 million token context window without becoming impractical. And this long context capability is not an inference trick bolted on at the end. NVIDIA trained Nemetron using a dedicated long context pre-training phase with carefully constructed long document datasets. During training, the model sees sequences extending into the hundreds of thousands of tokens, allowing it to learn how to maintain coherence over long horizons. Mamba layers make that feasible. Sparse expert routing keeps per token cost under control. One detail that quietly explains why Nemetron feels unusually stable for its size is how it was trained. NVIDIA used a two-phase pre-training strategy rather than a single blended data set. In the first phase, the model is exposed to a broad and diverse corpus to build general language and reasoning capacity. In the second phase, which occupies a smaller but critical portion of total training, the data distribution shifts sharply toward higher quality sources, including reasoning heavy text, structured problem solving, and curated synthetic data. This late stage emphasis on quality over quantity helps lock in reasoning behavior, and it reduces the instability and drift that often appear in large sparse models. Nemetron's speed advantage is further amplified by how it generates text. Instead of predicting one token per forward pass, the model uses multi-token prediction. That means it can predict several future tokens in a single pass, reducing the total number of passes required during generation. Fewer passes means fewer kernel launches, fewer memory reads, and lower synchronization overhead. And in long-form generation and agent workflows, that advantage compounds fast. When you combine Mamba-based sequence modeling, sparse expert activation, hardware-aligned routing, and multi-token prediction, you get a model that behaves fundamentally differently from transformer-heavy systems. This is why comparisons based purely on active parameter count miss the point. Two models with similar active parameters can have completely different performance profiles depending on how memory and computation are structured. The benchmarks reflect that. In an 8K input and 16K output generation scenario on a single H200 GPU, Nemetron 3 Nano achieves up to 3.3 times higher throughput than Quen 3 to 30B A3B thinking, and about 2.2 times higher throughput than GPT OSS 20B. These are generation heavy workloads, not short prompts where attention costs are hidden. And at the same time, Nemetron remains competitive in accuracy. It performs strongly on GSM 8K, Math, Math 500, and AIME 2025, showing solid mathematical reasoning. In code generation tasks such as Human Evil and MBPP, it matches or exceeds peer models. In instruction following and tool use benchmarks, it shows consistent gains, especially in multi-step scenarios that resemble real agent workflows rather than simple chat. And on long context evaluations like Ruler, Nemetron maintains accuracy well beyond 128K tokens, a range where many models degrade sharply or fail outright. Now, some early users have reported hallucinations or instability when pushing Nemetron to extreme context lengths locally, especially with certain quantization formats or inference engines. Those observations are valid, and they're not surprising. Hybrid Mamba architectures are still relatively new in local inference ecosystems, and tools like Llama.cp are actively catching up. NVIDIA's own optimized stacks, including TensorT, LLM, and VLLM, already show stronger stability. Given NVIDIA's control over both hardware and software, these issues look transitional rather than fundamental. Training methodology also plays a major role in how Nemetron behaves after pre-training. The model undergoes supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning using NVIDIA's Nemo Gym framework. 
Nemo Jim evaluates models in interactive environments where success depends on sequences of actions rather than single responses, reinforcing planning, tool use, and long horizon reasoning. This alignment process is designed for agentic systems, not conversational demos. Now comes the part many people are still underestimating, openness. NVIDIA released the pre-trained base model, the post-trained checkpoints, the generative reward model used during reinforcement learning, the full training and fine-tuning recipes, and the Nemo Gym environments themselves. And most importantly, NVIDIA released large portions of the actual pre-training and post-training datasets. These datasets span trillions of tokens and include structured reasoning traces and synthetic agent workflows. This level of transparency is almost unheard of at this scale. Meta does not release training datasets for Llama. OpenAI does not release weights at all. And many models marketed as open provide checkpoints while keeping their data pipelines opaque. NVIDIA is deliberately choosing a different path, framing Nemetron as AI infrastructure rather than a consumer product. The geopolitical timing amplifies this decision. US states and federal agencies have restricted or banned Chinese-developed AI models on government systems. Proposed legislation reflects growing concern about opaque or foreign-controlled AI. At the same time, Meta's shift toward closed models leaves a gap at the high end of the open ecosystem. NVIDIA is positioning Nemetron to fill that gap. And Nemetron 3 Nano is only the beginning. NVIDIA has confirmed two larger models in the same family. Nemetron 3 Super, at roughly 120 billion parameters, and Nemetron 3 Ultra, at roughly 480 billion parameters. Both are scheduled for release in the first half of 2026. These models introduce latent mixture of experts, where expert computation occurs in a shared latent space before projection back to token space. This lets NVIDIA use roughly four times more experts at the same inference cost, dramatically increasing specialization without increasing latency. Super and Ultra also expand multi-token prediction and rely heavily on NVFP4, NVIDIA's 4-bit floating point format, optimized for training and inference at scale. Both models are pre-trained on a 25 trillion token corpus using stability-optimized schedules. And if these models ship with the same openness as Nano, it would mark the first time in history that near-frontier AI is genuinely open end-to-end. -end. Now, these models do require GPUs. NVIDIA is not hiding that. This isn't charity, it's strategy. By making the most capable open models run best on NVIDIA hardware, NVIDIA ties openness directly to its ecosystem. As agentic AI becomes central to enterprise automation, research and governance, demand for efficient, transparent models will grow, and so will demand for the hardware that runs them best. Nemetron 3, Nano is not trying to win a chatbot popularity contest. It's trying to become the default backbone for serious long-running agentic AI systems. And if NVIDIA delivers on Super and Ultra, the meaning of open source AI at the frontier is about to change permanently. So here's the real question. In the long run, will the future of AI be shaped by openness and transparency, or by companies that choose to keep their most powerful models closed? Comment your take below. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.